excessive. No. Nope. <laughs> Razor or what? Nah. nah. It just makes me feel how I feel when I buy cheap pizza. Mm, the cheese falls off, you know. It's very accurate. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of that this week. You have until like yesterday well. to pay it. <laughs> <laughs> any, any New York fans, we think your pizza's cheap. Thanks. Welcome to the Epic Movie Podcast! I love cheap. <laughs> uh, that's not sure he was just hating on it earlier. Uh, I'm your host today, Nathan. Today, that is Dylan playing the game, and that is Mason and Price. I'm, I'm Foxy. <laughs> uh, before we get into our movie... Dylan, what, uh, I don't know why I'm doing Please that. don't keep this yeah. stick up. It's, it's, Nathan, what are we playing? Uh, well, Nathan. Stop <laughs> this! <laughs> I don't like it. There will be no more of this. <laughs> we are, uh, we're playing a little game called Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Uh, Yay! Nathan picked Nathan pick the, uh, the game, so I want to ask... What does this have to do with the movie we're talking about today? Well, Ebenezer Scrooge is a really tight, he has a monocle. money man. Mm -hmm. uh, he does not have a monocle. No, not in this one. He feels no. like he should humbug. have a monocle. Humbug! Yeah. I don't like what you're saying. Tra humbug. Traditional media that. probably has a, mo a monocle most of the time. Probably. Yeah. Michael but, Payne's a bullet. But yeah, too. this is a, this game's a little bit of a, like, you know, fuck the government, fuck the police. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I got nothing. I just, I love the name of this game. I have no idea what What do you mean? About. It's cute. It's about a stingy person getting his just desserts. It's just like the movie. No yeah. game is going to be the Highlander game we played like two or three weeks ago, no. whatever that was. <laughs> That's by far the best game we played. So we'll see how this Put one shakes out. Put me and Bryce in a, a side-scrolling 2D game, and we just have a blast. If we only be one. If we there can only be one! <laughs> Here's my editing tip that I'll never do for editing, but I think would be really cool when oh Price mentions God, that man. Highlander game from last week, and then here would just be an immediate clip to us screaming, ah! yeah. there, Oh wait, no, come on! There can only be one! <laughs> well, I second, this has been intense. This has been the most intense match all, all, all night. Come in my quarter. Uh, oh, 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 let's go! go. Yeah! 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 <laughs> with the clip, and then it would cut right back to where we are. That yes. definitely happened because at the end of the video, I'm spoiling it. Mason and I had like a super intense like one-off. It one was off. so intense. Yeah. Oh man, that was so much fun. But anyway, we are talking about How the Muppet Christmas Carol. It was my category that got picked. I had never seen a Muppets movie before. Uh, I'm gonna let somebody else do the summary, and I'm gonna pick the person who I know enjoyed this movie the most, and that is Christmas Lover himself, oh, yeah. Mason. Yeah, so this is your typical uh, Christmas Carol type plot, mess. but you throw in the Muppets, and each Muppet has a designated position and a role in this stupid, <laughs> stupid story. It's just about Ebenezer Scrooge saying... Home. You know what the Christmas Carol's about. Yeah. Throw in yeah. Muppets, that's literally the summary. The yeah. ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future come to be, and Scrooge Ebenezer is what I would call him, mm -hmm. just realizes over time that his life... And the way he treats people needs to be adjusted. Also, Ghost of Christmas Past, definitely the scariest, right? Bullshit. Oh, no, no, not even close. I hated her. Ghost of the Christmas could be. Yeah. So, like, yeah, know. he's the one that is meant to look the scariest. Yeah. But, she honestly, looked creepy awful. little baby baby doll hand Red girl. Redhead, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, take, take a strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was so I did small. think of that when I said that. <laughs> There wasn't a scary it was such a vibes. tiny hand. Mm -hmm. It was just like... I, hey. <laughs> I didn't understand how they had so many Muppets in this movie, and they still chose to have the eeriest, oddest-looking person thing yeah. for Ghost like, of that, Christmas That's past. the thing that's so confusing to me, is like, the other ones, even the scary one, looks like a Muppet. Yeah, yeah it that, does. That thing just looks like a doll. <laughs> looks it's like they so CGI'd strange. it on there. Oh, there's it. some, they're not CGI, but there's some bad green screening. Yeah. Like, yes, there whenever is. they're spinning the, the, the ice. Fly? Yeah. The, the fly. The ice in particular fly. really yeah. stuck out to me. Well, that just made me think of, like, that was the only chance that they didn't have, like, the wires. Uh, and, like, you know, the holding up, holding up, like, mm -hmm. so they had well, to sit there and vanish those, mm -hmm. twirl them around, do all kinds of stuff. Well, the other thing, too, is... Uh, so we're jumping around a lot here already. Sure. Like, yeah. well, let me start from I, the top. I don't know if we need to discuss the the actual plot of this, as if anybody doesn't already know what it is. Uh, but in talking about having strings attached, I do just want to mention the most noticeable moment to me that I definitely saw strings was during the 
singing section for um, the two the two old men. Yeah. Mm. Um, and there's a section where you can see a string definitely like in front of one of them. Yeah. That's getting ready to pull up uh, some of the chains in like the next part of their song. I hated that song. They are hoping that we're, we're the Marley Brothers. Out. Ooh. <laughs> we're the brothers. Ooh. It's like that's not a line. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> but I do want to say that I picked this category of the Muppets for two reasons. One is because I've never seen a Muppets movie before. And two, I really like Little Shop, uh, and that had Frank Oz directing it, who also directed this movie. And I really like the puppetry they did in Little Shop. None of that was evident in this movie. <laughs> no, that's yeah. To be fair, I think Muppet Treasure Island's the more fun pick, all things considered. But Kelly and I watched the first ten minutes of Muppet Treasure Island. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do it. Oh well, man, hated it. It's, it's, it's all set up. <laughs> hated it. No wonder you got You're not even into the fun of it. anyway. So, we're here to talk about uh, Bobby Christmas Carol, which, I'll be honest, I like. I really like this one. Uh, it's like the two Muppet films that I, I've watched and actually have sentimental value and, like, real scented glasses over. I just think it's fun. It's simple, straight to the point, and I know I'm, like, not trying to curve out all my big, deep reviews, but let's talk about the one human that needs to matter in this movie, and that's Michael, Michael Caine. Caine. Yeah. yeah. Michael Caine, I think, great job. I think he did okay, yeah. yeah. Michael yeah, Caine was by and far the best thing about this movie. He was the best, like, he... His acting was incredible. Yeah. I mean, he just did so good. Nothing in this movie compared to his acting ability. The puppetry wasn't that impressive. The songs definitely weren't impressive. The voices were not impressive. Mm -hmm. But Michael Caine's acting was the only thing where I was like, "This is." I'm glad I have this at least. See, I and that's the it's the funny dynamic with a with a Muppet movie too is that like the better the actor, it almost feels like it's doing a disservice to the rest of the movie because it's. <laughs> Like, the Muppets are only going to act as, as they are, so it, it's so hard to foil them against Michael Caine, who's being pretty straight-laced in his role throughout this entire film. Yeah, like, he, it sounds like he's quoting the lines pretty strictly from the book to right. in many sections yeah, of it. Exactly. Sure. But it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like uh, that corkscrew tree movie or whatever that you may just watch the teen <laughs> romance, where, like, you can tell they're quoting from a book. Michael Michael flipped. P possibly that that yeah, was yeah, terrible that how is, they did it yeah, yeah. but michael kane like delivered those lines in a way that felt organic like it felt like it was just part of the story it didn't feel stilted like it yeah, did in that yeah. god-awful movie yeah no you're right i hated that fucking movie yeah it sucked thank <laughs> you <laughs> mason's number one pick to yeah, one see. <laughs> how are guys we're, we're gonna do flip but this time from the other side yeah. and then do it in reverse that sounds like tenant actually do you have a question tenant got made nathan, nathan flip, do you uh um, have you yeah. seen this movie before uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Had, so who who here hadn't already seen this movie? Oh, hadn't already. Just seen Mason and I, okay. and we're the ones most 50, negative. 50, hey, it, we're, and we're the ones most negative. On that it. tracks. I would have put both like, in that one. I haven't had a chance to be negative on it because honestly, this is this is such a weak performance, always round. I think the Muppets can make some pretty funny stuff, mm. um, but I don't think they always do, and I think they historically are super hit and miss on whether or not anything well, that they make is what good. Are, are they a quantity over Muppet quality? Muppet Treasure Island. Kind of what's thing what's a hit um, for them? So, I'll say that as far as, a, like, to me, whenever they're in sm short doses, small bursts, like, yeah. uh, like their TV yes. shows yeah. that they do, I think, are pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, the... The Muppet Ride is... It's a 3D movie, basically, at Disney World. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty funny. Um, there's things that they do and do well, but You're I... You're saying short bursts, not movies. Yeah, yeah, in short bursts, I think their comedy hits. And like, they, sure it's more like sketch good. comedy. Like, that's yeah. that's where their individual characters shine, and then whenever they try and do these, like, ensemble cast kind of things, yeah. it doesn't always pan out really well. Okay. Yeah. I don't have much experience with it. I was just curious. Yeah. No, I mean, I... And uh, this is definitely a one for me where if I had... I think there's going to be a, a, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like, kind of like an age gap bias to it, right? I've watched these since I was a kid, so nostalgia? this is... Well, not even so much nostalgia. Like, it's... I'm coming from your guys' perspective. You're... I think there's an automatic, like, resist... Okay, maybe not less so Price, because Price loves children's cartoons on a daily basis. But yes, maybe, maybe more on Mason's case, where you sit there and you're like, Muppets, that's like fucking kid shit. And then you get into it, and then it's, again, the tone is so what it is. Well, it's not only kid shit, but it's, like, shit that, like, my dad probably would have watched, like, mm, in, like, so the antiquated 80s, kid you know, shit. like, like, early, early 80s. It's like watching old, like, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, or, like, or, like, like Smurfs, yeah. where I think of, like, um, oh, 
gosh, there's a million of them I just can't think. Well, like all Jetsons. of those things. Yeah, like the Jets and, mm-hmm. you know, just when I think of the Muppets, That's I think of like, this is what they had at the time. I'm sure it was good, but mm-hmm. think about where we're at now versus, you know, in the past 20 years versus 40 years ago. Uh, if you if you take that argument too, I think that um, younger generations, these kind of movies, Maybe the Muppets, all more. that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. not, not that they're going to hit more. They are not going to exist. Sure. Yeah. Like they, they, it will never have been a thing. Like it was not a thing for either of you to have watched that movie, uh-huh. which to me seems strange because it seemed like just one of those things that you watched around Christmas time yeah, as right. a kid. I thought for us, I thought, think that was what a strange gap to like the years between our ages because it's not even like a drastic age difference. Yeah, it's but not, like it's not. it's not even that many years of a difference, but it right. it was already gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would I would say that. Probably for the past ten years, this movie has been very much out of the picture for the majority of kids growing up. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't imagine. I, I mean, again, I haven't had cable for like over a decade, but like I can't imagine well, just pulling who up like a channel. Cable. Right, kids exactly. Watch YouTube so, now, right? You know, like, and, and that's to me, this is like a kids' movie, and if you're gonna like it, you're gonna like it because it's a nostalgic thing from yeah. being a kid. Right. So it has to have got its hands on you. When you were young, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I agree. Like, I agree. I feel like I was going into it an, an, with an open mind to this movie, though. Like mm-hmm. I picked the category, I wanted to watch it. Yeah, I was severely disappointed. I mean, because I was expecting like, like if it's gonna be funny, that the comedy's gonna hit. That if it's gonna have music, it's at least gonna be passable. Because normally I don't really like musicals, and I just wanted to at least skate me through. This movie did neither of those. Mm-hmm. The comedy did not hit, and the music was god awful. I'm gonna first talk about the comedy. Their version of comedy, for some reason, like like five percent hit for me because that was basically the narrator guy and them kind of talking about like yeah, why are you like also, omnipotent and like yeah. also here like right. I like that discussion and but then the other ninety five percent of the comedy was like an actor picking up a muppet and throwing it and then yelling and then like a crash happening. Yeah, mm. I got so sick of that by the end of the You're movie. Right. That was the all the narrators the were easily yeah. the best. Gonzo and Rizzo, which are. Traditionally, like the more funny ones, yeah. to be fair, are pretty relegated to well, the Well, Gonzo's spot. character is a comedian. Right, exactly. Well, but so is Fozzie. Right, yeah. Fozzie and, and Fozzie's way. only barely in Yeah, he yeah. doesn't do too much. Exactly. Um, I, I did, will say the funniest part, though, was when uh, Rizzo went on top of the fence or whatever, or like, <laughs> just went with over the jelly up. beans, and then he walked through the fence <laughs> and, kind of, and then walked back, and the other guy just looked at him like, what? <laughs> what? Like, yeah. You could have walked through that? <laughs> Like, yeah, of course. Like, you're you're an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> but there's just like none of the other comedy. See, and that's went for me. That's the thing that I kind of appreciate it years later is that like, okay, yes, I I have a sentimental value for this movie that, and that's what makes it easier to like watch mm-hmm. nowadays. Where it's like, yes, the comedy isn't always super landing, but then there are some jokes that I'm just like, <laughs> like that moment I laughed. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Or um, oh, what's his what's his face the the drummer. Whose name I'm totally forgetting right now. Oh, the monster. Animal. Oh. Animal. Yeah. So oh, animal yeah. when they're playing that like smooth bar <laughs> thing, and, and he's, he's just and losing he's like, it, <laughs> like, just hitting the triangle, yeah. and just like <laughs> yeah, so bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah just, so so much of what makes the Muppets entertaining is understanding the characters yes. that the Muppets represent. Yes, and, and that's seeing why them the from movie that, to movie. Yeah, yeah right. and that's a, that's where I think it's only. Like, a Muppets version of anything is only entertaining if you if already you know, know and like the Muppets. The right. fact that you guys know uh, like, Rizzo, really like Gonzo, the, and mm-hmm. Animal's name. Like. Right. Everything has a tone. Like, and you'll notice, too, even though that the comedy... The comedy's tones are a little all over. Like, some had more mature tones. Some had, again, like, Animal has just its, like, you know, reference to him being himself. And not to say that, like, some are very, like, dark or very heavy or anything like that. Just that they're a little bit in different areas of comedy, tonally speaking. And that all comes from them having their unique thing, but without that pre-existing basis, you don't have that, like, these are just random jokes told out of the blue all of a sudden, versus, like, the slapstick stuff for the kids. But this is, like, one of the big things I have with movies, though. Like, I want to watch this movie and enjoy the movie. I don't care if there's a sequel. I don't care what it's based on. I don't care anything about what I am watching on the screen. And what I saw on the screen was not enjoyable to me. Yeah, you know kind of speaking to the whole thing of like there always being some kind of meta thing going on mm. I think that is particularly the case with the Muppets and um, an example of this is recently they came out with a haunted mansion I saw like a short for movie that. I mean it's not a movie but it's it's not good 
It's oh, did just, you watch it? Yeah, I, I watched it. It's got it's, a lot of stars in it. From it what does, I saw. It, but it's not a very good film at all. It's also very short, and the only like point in watching it is if you are very familiar with the Haunted Mansion ride and also like the Muppets. Like you have to have both layers of that to <laughs> find enjoyment right. in it. And I thought it was cool just because I knew all that stuff so well, but I also knew like as an outside viewer, um, whenever we had talked about like doing a Muppets movie, I had that one in mind of like, you know, that would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Like I would like to see what that looks like. I'm very glad that it's not yeah. what we did because right. you you guys would have hated it. I know it Christmas Carol at least. Yeah. I knew that half of this yeah. story. Yeah. Right. That helped. And that's so much of like what you can tell that their movies are trying to do. Like you're you're watching the Muppet version because you're you like the brand and the context and stuff that everything comes in with it. And they're just gonna do their own not really retelling of the story because this one is very much a you know, pretty cut and paste story. Yeah. Um it's just with Muppets now. But I feel like we keep, like, massaging this movie, like, it's okay, it's okay, and Mason, I don't know if I speak for you, I think I do when I say, like, I don't care, like, I don't, I did not like what I saw don't on the screen, speak for you. E like, even the songs, you're a strong, independent man even the songs no man. were not good, like, all of them, like, didn't continue the story, it would be like, the story's going, the, the, the movie halts, the plot mm -hmm. stops, and they sing a song about Christmas for, like, five minutes, and then the, the story continues. And then another block of Christmas song happens. And then the story continues. It was so stilted and just did not flow well. I mean, speaking to, like, the music by itself, I was telling Price, like, this, the music in this was so <laughs> abrasive. <laughs> and I couldn't, like, okay, I am such a big Christmas fan. I will listen to 15 different versions of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, Michael Buble, number Michael one Buble. fan yes, over man. here. Like, I'm fine with anything Christmas as far as music goes. I'll listen to any variation. They made their own. The Muppets made their own songs mm -hmm. that were very much like, oh, peace and love and doing all this stuff. And I hated it because it was all just Muppet voices. And I, I will never find myself listening to these these songs ever again because it's just... I'll just hear Kermit in the background or Miss Piggy in the background and you know and I hear about Tiny Tim which that was only that was the only cool part in this whole movie he actually died yeah he actually died <laughs> well, and I was like wow I mean they were why? they retconned it in the time and yeah. yeah, in the time thing with it but yeah, side note I mentioned uh, last week relative to whenever you're watching this Miss Piggy fucks and look at how many kids they had dude they had so many yeah. And it's it's so funny that, like, in Shrek, you know, like, Shrek and the dragon have kids and they're hybrid Shrek mutant and things. Yeah. Or a uh, donkey and the donkey. dragon yeah, yeah, yeah. have, like, these mutant, awful looking things. But for some reason, the Muppets, like, you don't think twice two of them, them are clearly pigs. Yeah. One of them's clearly a frog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Total 50 50. How does the genetics work yeah. on that? <laughs> Arguably better than in Shrek. Thomas. Yeah, by the sounds of it. Um, I mean, Shrek makes more sense. But also speaking to like <laughs> just like the music, okay, I can I can kind of sort of get over that. Okay, mm -hmm. fine, I'm not gonna listen to this music ever again. Whatever. Sure. The Christmas Carol thing was very much the exact same storyline, the exact same tale that you've always heard. Ebenezer Scrooge gets visited, gets to see himself from like a different point of view, whatever. Mm -hmm. But they pasted Muppets on every single thing, which I mean I don't know, man. Like I could do without that. Like I'm just it's. You talk about covers of songs, or you talk about this, or you talk about that, and you're like, well, this is just like that, where it's like, this isn't exactly original. Like, I get that the Muppets mm -hmm. are doing this whole, like, people who like the Muppets are going to like this. Fine. Yeah. I'm yeah. just not part of that crowd, and God, I fucking hate the Muppets now. And I, I, <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> I thought that Kermit was part of Sesame Street, and he's not. Kind of. He kind of is. I say kind of. Like, they're created by the same company. I don't they know. are I don't give myself that much at least. Jim I Henson created that. Kermit and Sesame Street. Hey, he did. About that, Jim Henson. <laughs> um, that's just a few of my qualms. You know what? Though I will say a couple of cool things. The the Muppets' movements were so good. Like yeah. some of them had like finger moving, mm -hmm. and like like they would like do these mannerisms while they were like you know conversing with other Muppets, and it was just I never thought I would always just thought it was a hand doing this little number. Right. Growing up, and I just never thought about it that's, until I watched. That's pretty movie. much all the Muppets were doing, though. Like the, besides Kermit, 
Kermit was Whenever, the only one I could tell, like, when he would kind of do that, like... Whenever the charity face, people... Bush face. Yeah, they yeah, kind of, yeah. like, mush when his the, face. When the charity people came in, they had, like, these actual, like, hands, and they were, like, rubbing their fingers together and, like, mm-hmm. actually, like, bending things that I would have never thought. And, uh, uh, gosh, I wish oh, gosh. Towards the very beginning. I can't remember the other guy's name. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but it was, it was cool. Like, I was actually able to see that they were a little bit different. <laughs> God, that's um, a little too meta. <laughs> <laughs> And, okay, so another, like, pro of this movie, and this is the only two that I've got, mm-hmm. the, the way that they were able to, like, transition and, like, kind of um, combine the human aspects and the Muppets, yeah. while Scrooge and young nephew Scrooge were talking, the little rat workers were just kind of, like, doing their own thing. Yeah. It wasn't that they were just so far apart that they had to, like, splice them in. Like, all of this was happening all at the same time. They felt very much like extras in a movie. Just, yeah. yeah. And it was, yeah. and that part was actually kind of cool. But, I mean, that that wasn't the movie. Like, the movie was more so, like, Kermit being Bob, the assistant, and uh, Miss Piggy having absolutely no part. Yeah. Like, nothing of any value. The rat. The rats are funny though. You can't. Rats were you cool. You can't tell me otherwise. Like the one point where they're just like, "Oh, can we get some more?" And he's just like, "No." And then they're all on vacation. They're just, ah, no, 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 no. Going somewhere warm. <laughs> right, we're going somewhere warm. <laughs> and I was like, "Man, that's that's so mad." They're like, "All right, well, my workplace doesn't get it. Fuck it, we're done working now. We quit." There, we're... there might have been three moments where I like smiled in this movie. That was probably one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not good. I know. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it's it's. The fucking Christmas Carol. It's not supposed to be a super smiley story yeah, by nature, not. anyway. So it's if you're not. smiling yeah. even three times, that's... but it's the Muppets though. That's the half of the the Muppets are supposed to bring the yeah, smiles. Yeah, but if it's your first time and you're not eight, eh. <laughs> bigger yeah. battle. I bigger uphill battle. I, I, don't, I disagree. I don't. Chris. I just don't think. <laughs> bah, I, just, I just don't think you can keep adding qualifiers to this movie to be like. You, you can only like this movie if you know the lore of the Muppets, the Christmas Carol, and you're eight. I love it when he takes our narrative and he, he turns it. Like, when well, not necessarily turns like, it, he just we're, goes we're the wrong way. We're not saying that, saying that that's, Thank like, you. gives it a pass. Uh, we're yeah, just uh, saying, like, that is simply it. the, the tr- nature of it. Like, that's it. how it is, mm-hmm. is you... But that in and of itself, if you having to say, like, yeah, that's, like, the nature of the Muppets, that it, in itself is a qualifier. No, 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 no. no. It's I'm a, not qualifying well, anything. I'm just telling you the, the way... I perceive this movie is it you if you don't like the Muppets you're yeah. not gonna like things. And by if the anything, Muppets. Nathan may that's, be also saying that that's a negative to it. Because I know, like, I know it is, to. but like that's a qualifying factor for this movie is that if you don't like the Muppets, you're not gonna like it. Okay, yeah. then yeah, sure. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's what I'm what I'm saying here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm saying the same thing. It's just you have to be on board with it from the See, start. If we were all Muppets, then this wouldn't be. We have I just would have thrown Price Man. outside the room. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Muppets, I always have appreciated the Muppets that have the really wispy-looking hair stuff, where it, it must mm. be made out of very thin, like delicate feathers or something, oh, yeah. because they just, like, the slightest breeze catches them. Like, the spider guy and his eyebrows were I like hated that. that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. It was, like, I, the most I, intricate If moment. I were to ever make a Muppet or... Want to be a Muppet? I I would need that. One of like those. That, that, that kind of just wispiness, like that that adds so much depth of it character does. to a Muppet. I just want to be Rizzo. You know what else is kind of like that? that? <laughs> you know what else is kind of like that? The Fantastic Mr. Fox when like they're like little weird fur would move. Yeah. yeah. It was almost like there was a fan blowing on them all the time just to like show <laughs> yeah. their like livelihood. But like, what I kept thinking of in this movie too was how many people were behind these benches. Because, like, the scene with all the rats, mm, mm. and the scene with the penguins, mm-hmm. that there was, like, a million of them. Yeah. Like, how many people were just sitting there, probably one on, like, each finger that were just, like, almost like playing the piano. They were right. just, like, moving things up and down. <laughs> they were all just hunched over behind a table. Price is going to complain that nobody's asked the question yet, so this is me reading Price's mind. What's the question? Yeah, Price, what's the question? Yeah, Price, what's the question? Do you okay. think this would have been better than Muppet's Treasure Island? No. Anyway, I've got a couple of questions that I would ask. Oh, okay. Nathan, you Nathan's are better. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for one, you're right. Muppet's um, is super good, but it's seasonally appropriate. So this is coming out next summer. I feel, <laughs> I feel like one of them actually only works for the two of us, which is basically like which one would be your favorite Muppet. Mm. Um, but the other thing is like if the Muppets were to muppify something, is there something that jumps to your mind as something that you Mad think Max. could be entertaining? 
Hell yeah. Yes. 100%. Hell yeah. Tell me you wouldn't watch Mad Max. I like Max that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take something can you so imagine not that? Muppets yeah. and I, fucking I put him in there. Animal can well, be so animal drums and stuff. Nah, I don't think animal can be He's drummer. Oh, yeah. yeah. With, um, with the new Space Jam movie. Oh, yeah. We yeah. already saw a taste of that with Roadrunner and Wally yeah. Coyote being in Mad Max. Right. And that Just was shredding. fucking awesome. Yeah, that was cool. That was so good. That was one of, like... That was the reason to watch that movie. <laughs> for that, like, it's for that. Eight, like, just, seven, just, seven, just Wiley Coyote just pulling out a sign saying "Witness me" mm-hmm. is amazing. <laughs> and I, I swear, I think me. they had like the spray paint too. They didn't spray their teeth, but they did yeah. have it at some point in that Warner Brothers. That four-second teaser trailer for the Mad Max movie Muppets mm-hmm. puts it on. Honestly, yeah, that's the that's just the right answer. Yeah, that, no... that that is the best answer. That's what my <laughs> answer would have been. That's a really good one, actually. Uh, yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> the end. That's the correct answer. We finally have found the correct yeah, answer. Yeah, we all agree. For the last movie review of this season, that is the answer to the question. But, yeah. um... I thought you were going to stab that thing, but you watered it instead. Yeah. You spared its life. Oh, the God. Cabbage. Um, scores. Yeah? Dylan, you pick yeah. who goes first. Uh, you can gonna, even pick yourself. Uh, I'm going to go first. All right. I'm going to start it up big. Let's give this movie a 10 out of 10. Get the... Bu- I'm kidding. <laughs> Get the button. Get, Get the, the button. Get the licorice. <laughs> uh, this movie... Ooh, actually. Spicy. Spicy. It's a 7.5. Oh, my God. Damn. It's a 7.5. Oh, wow. All right, so... Oh, here, here it is for me, right? Here, here it is for me. I liked it when I was little, and I like it now. <laughs> yes. I mean, effectively. But, so, you got a movie that, t- that goes the test of time. You got a holiday movie that I notoriously hate. I am bah humbug about most holiday movies. I just, mm. I, I think they're stupid most of the time. I think they're bad movies. Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation. Bad movie. No. <laughs> it's not. What? Uh, Jingle All the Way. Shut up. It's okay. Bad Santa. Elf. Bad movie. Polar <laughs> Express. I don't like either of those movies. Noel. No. Tom Hanks is in Polar Express. Yeah, fuck America's dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> You got some issues going on then, buddy, but please continue. Yeah, that's coming out from history. To be fair, that's fair for me. <laughs> All things considered, though, um, yeah, no, this movie's just kind of dumb fun. Uh, it doesn't try to be anything more than what it is. It's a Christmas Carol with Muppets. That's it. They advertise it, they show it, they came in, and they delivered that. Uh, I was probably like five or six whenever I first saw this on VHS, and I remember I had it on VHS. It's like one of my six VHS movies, and I was like, huh, yeah, six-year-old Dylan likes this. I watched this at 31. I'm like, yeah, still kind of cute. It's fun. The music, eh, you can take it or leave it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of musicals by nature, so, like, the carol parts of it, eh, not so much there for me. Uh, Rizzo fucking still makes me laugh, though. That fucking little rat gets me. Um, and Gonzo's funny, and Animal's funny, and honestly, the... Swedish the, Chef is also... Yeah. made a cameo. I always appreciate Swedish Chef. The, like, the looming dark tone of the, like, whenever, the fact that the Muppets can take it to a dark tone, and you're like, huh, man. This doesn't feel entirely too weird. Like, it doesn't, like, I'm taking it seriously enough where it's just like, yeah, they got the creepy part when it's creepy and they got the dark one when it's dark. Is it, like, the darkest thing in the world? No, it's Muppets, but, for, you know, set the bar. You know what you're getting into with that one. Or you don't, like these two. But 7.5 for me. Roast into glasses. Price will sit there and say it's all nostalgia and it's all bad. I'm not judging his review. It is nostalgic, but I don't care. I'm going to go next because I want to get the two outliers out of the way. Um... <laughs> The biggest thing I've always hear from this group is that if it's a comedy and it doesn't make me laugh, it failed. If it's a musical and I don't like the music in it, it failed. It failed on both of those accounts. But it's a holiday movie, and it does holidays. Pass. I mean, it does. 10 out of 10. I mean, there's a holiday in it, but, I mean, that doesn't work to its credit. I mean, the it, it wasn't funny. I said earlier how the comedy does not hit. I mean, it has pretty much one style of comedy, and it's not funny. Uh, and the music, I mean, I think everyone here has pretty much said they didn't really like the music, and that's like probably 45 minutes of this hour and a half of runtime. Oh, is, that is, is not even close to true. It's I maybe feel like you could look that up. It's maybe 15 minutes, There's a price. ton of it. Just, just look it up. I don't care. It's been a long time. But music is a very big part of this movie, and I did not like any of it. I, like, uh, I, I like, look down at my phone every song. I did like the score, though. I was saying during the movie, like, I like the score. It's just like when they put the voices over it, it was not good. Um, so it failed on both of those accounts, but luckily it's not too long, which that's like my, like, if it goes over that threshold, that's when it goes way down on the score. It's not too long, but it was not enjoyable. And I went in with high hopes wanting to really like this movie and I very much did not. So I'm going with a two and a half. Woo. I did not enjoy my time with this movie. 
Two and a quarter, says Price. Says me. So let's go with the two median scores. All right, Nathan, would you like to Hey, you go? died. Nathan. <laughs> uh, well, this is a perfect time for me to <laughs> drop my score, I yeah, guess. Pig um, got you. Man, so... Nicholas Cage's pig. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this movie since I was a kid. Um, even as a kid, like, there's so many better movies. It's something that <laughs> if you have it on, it's only on because that's what's playing on TV mm -hmm. and you're not actually paying attention to it, but you're just like, ah, you know, it's a classic, whatever, it's mm -hmm. on, that's cool. And that's fine. Um, but if you're actually sitting down to watch a movie, not a, not a good idea to do. You should you should not pay close attention to this film. <laughs> you you will not actually be all that pleased by it. Uh, and I do like the Muppets, um, but I think there's just so many things that they do where it's not that great. Um, so uh, yeah, this this one's gonna land at like a four mm. and a half. I'll give it a half. <laughs> like that 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 half is my nostalgia. There you go. The, the half is for the Muppets. <laughs> Twenty one yeah. out of the eighty six minutes is a song. That's a fourth fourth that's still quite a bit that's I mean, quite a bit mason did send us a uh, <laughs> snap while he was watching this of the most like bored looking face i have like ever oh, seen while watching this movie <laughs> yeah if you, if you have it um, i got a real big kick out of it it's this movie okay i love christmas i really do it's it's it is my favorite holiday and i love the shitty little you almost killed yourself right then I, oh no <gasps> um and I'm and I'm like I'm okay with even like the Hallmark junky little silly crap. I won't go out of my way to watch it, mm -hmm. but um, but yeah, I just can't seem to appreciate a movie like this where they literally just copied and pasted Kermit's voice and Rizzo's voice and for everything. Mm -hmm. Again, um, it, it's a five. I don't I don't find it redeemable. I don't think that it's it's very fun. It is short. I'll give it that much. That's low for you. It's it's not enough to to boost. I almost gave it a five and a half just because I didn't hate my time with it, but man, it just wasn't it wasn't fun. I won't watch another Muppets movie. <laughs> Like probably ever. No, we're gonna put Muppet Christmas Carol on next season. I think I'm sorry, Muppet Treasure Island. You know yeah, what I mean. do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, our season ends with a bang. Thank you, Price. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Muppets. Yep. Yep. Thanks, it was Price. fun. I, I I wanted to see it. I haven't seen a Muppets movie before. I wanted the group to pick which one they thought was possibly the best. And I now I know if Muppets are on the screen, I'm probably not gonna enjoy it. All we gotta do is next time I'll pick a Muppets movie and it's yeah. going to be Muppets 3D mm. and then we just go down to Florida I was gonna say that. and watch Florida. it at Disney World. Oh, It's got to be, you gotta be you in gotta the be real. Oh, okay, I The gotcha. Swedish Chef is behind you running the projector. It's a whole show. There's literally, like, they have the Muppets up on, like, in the balconies. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I feel like I'd get, yeah, that's I That's like some sick. quality Muppets. Is the yeah. Swedish chef the one with the big chef yeah, hat? Yeah, huge Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Bork, 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 bork. Yeah, like, like a set. <laughs> Swedish chef, you will appreciate the Swedish chef after watching Muppets 3D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're not talking about Muppets anymore. <laughs> Thankfully, all the Muppets are over. Unless somebody picks some more Muppets to go on the wheel. I don't know why they would, but it is a possibility. And Muppet Treasure Island is long as fuck, too. It's like two hours. That sounds horrendous. Is it really? Uh, it's something in longer. Man, I, I kept, like, in my head as I was watching this film, I kept thinking, well, at least it's going to be short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I had just recently watched The Haunted Mansion, and that one's maybe only 30 minutes long. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I don't remember short, be there being a lot going on in this movie, so it's probably short. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the time, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I've still got, like half the movie to go yeah. yeah i looked down and it was half a little over halfway and i was like this isn't too bad i watched it when it was cold one night with my wife and it was cold and i said brr i feel the snow <laughs> and that was fun for me that's our show make sure to tune in next week for our top 10 all-time movie review we sat there and said fuck your reviews and fuck these reviews on the whole season 
We are tired of doing it. You're tired of watching it. <laughs> so, we're doing top ten of all time with various criteria and ways we went about making those lists. Yes. Make sure to tune in and see what kind of bullshit we got into next week. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content. If you like or dislike them up, it's let us know. Um, in the comments below, you can give a big thumbs up to just, I don't know, give us awareness, man. We've got like 20 of you guys, which yeah. to be fair is loyal. Which is... <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> we love 18 at least of you. 20 people is a room full of people. I can dig that. Um, make sure to hit the bell. That's all, folks. <laughs> da, da, da. You didn't earn that smack. <laughs> 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 <laughs>